Hello, how's it going, boys? How's it going? Sorry, back once again for yet yeah, another character impression. This time we have the next grand character. That means we do not have Seek uh, anymore. Not sure why is this uh, light character. We're supposed to get an Earth, but we get light instead. So I guess our Guild War is fucked. Moving forward, you probably will not be seeing a lot more videos from me anymore. Because there's a good reason for that. Because nobody watched this anymore. And nobody gives a fuck about the uh, GBF content anymore. So yeah. Alright. Uh, without further ado, let's check. Um, Cosmos has 14... 35 uh, HP, 8750 attack, she's balanced, she's gun and saber. Okay. Equilibrium, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Massive light damage to a 4 1 turn cut to Cosmos skill cooldowns while Halo Attunement is in effect, activates twice. Wow, Sugoi. Uh, sweeping Detonation. Oh, that's actually the, 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 the skill name in the, uh, <laughs> in the raid itself, too, right? Six hit all elemental damage to all foes. Remove one buff. While Halo Attunement is in effect, auto activates upon charge attacks. Wow, Sugoi. Blast Erasure. Light damage to a foe. Hit to multi attack rate stackable. 20% boost to charge, uh, caster's charge bar. While Halo Attunement is in effect, auto activates upon normal attacks. Wow, so strong. Okay. Halo Attunement. Halo Attunement effect to caster. Instant CA standby. HP is set to 50%. Of max HP, damage immunity for one turn, additional effect from second cast and cooldown for other casters, other skills, and then can use each damage skill up to one extra time this turn. But it's ready in five turns. A wish renewed. Ignore fire, water, earth, wind, and dark elemental resistance. Deal superior elemental damage regardless of foe's element. Wow. One turn cut to Halo Attunement. Skill standby and cooldown upon being targeted by light allies buff or healing skill. Oh, that's very much like, like Zoe too, huh? Entryway to Adventure. While Halo Attunement is in effect, boost to light allies attack defense CA specs and skill specs based on how close Cosmos HP is to 50%. So that's why uh, third skill is a thing. Can I run this character in, my other, in other elements? <laughs> is she a rainbow character? She sounds like a rainbow character. <laughs> Um, this one is 6 hits is 300k damage base cap per hit. Oh, that's kind of high. Blast Erasure, 800k, 800k? 800% large damage is 900%. And then, this one is 10% uh, to double and triple attack down max is 40%. So it's the same. And gain 20% meter. Alright, this one doesn't have anything. One turn cut. Okay, so yeah, the, the thing, we don't have numbers for this, right? So let's just say that this is really, really significant. <laughs> so that means you can actually use them for, uh, use her for all elements, right? I mean, this this really looks like a rainbow character. <laughs> the only thing, the, I feel like the only thing that uh, she might not be able to do it properly is uh, the HP. Because if you use other element, right? The HP doesn't really go up, right? But I guess you can still use it, and at the same time, uh, it still kind of works. You just put in HP to her, to her. Doesn't her damage still go up regardless, though? Cause she's dealing superior elemental damage no matter what, right? Wait, so what's the what element does she do if it's null then? Does she just do light then? I I never it never really like <laughs> occurred to me because I never really bothered using that. That kind of oops, that kind of thing in fucking forever. They just deal their own element. Okay. Yeah, because I never really like uh, play with this this strat in freaking forever, technically. Yeah, so it's just win. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's just, she's just doing light damage then, okay. So, if you think about it, it's actually quite funny that uh, she actually would do more outside of null, alum, uh, null raids. She does more outside of null raids rather than in null raids. I mean, it's actually quite cool that you can, ac can actually start doing this now, but it's kind of funny that it's light. <laughs> it'll, be fun it'll be much better if you just null, right? <laughs> I think everyone will probably get her if that's the case. If she's not light, if she's a null character, right? That is like following MC's element or whatever. Yeah, that would be actually pretty broken. <laughs> you can just use one character and it fits everything. If you think about it, right? A character like this, right? With this kind of skill set literally works in every element. <laughs> It'd be nice if she turns out to be that though. 
So it's like when it comes to like those kind of raids that has uh, other element stuff, she can actually get rid of that very very easily. She can do a lot of damage too because of uh, this one, right? This one activates on autos, right? So in other words, she basically has like an extra big ass nuke as uh, as like an echo, right? Because this activates on normal attacks. When you Ogi is the one that you get the the mouth. I would actually prefer this though. <laughs> I would honestly prefer this as the Ogi and then this is the autos, right? But well, <laughs> can't be too overpowered, right? Having like fucking uh, supplemental or uh, what's that nuking shit as the autos, right? It, it, you know, I, I feel like it's also because, you know, the the, <laughs> the you know, the whole Flugan shit as well. She, uh, they, they decided to make a character like this. <laughs> that is not good for just light only. <laughs> Yeah, she's good for like everything, every element, right? Yeah, I do not know why they're actually really doing that. It's, it's so... it To me, it's very annoying that it's just... Like, uh... You want to get like Ogi shit this day and age. It's... Dude, Ogi is so fucking slow and so goddamn annoying. What the fuck you want to go goddamn Ogi anyway? But uh, other than that, you definitely want... You definitely want to have uh, skill cap on her, though. Skill cap as supplemental probably is the way to go. She has an insane amount of... Uh, extra nukes right but yeah you have to rely on Ogi I suppose but you have to also keep her HP to uh, close to 50% right <laughs> it's kind of funny though this this kind of thing is kind of funny but at the same time it's like yeah kind of whatever you can just press her first skill I guess I mean her third skill to auto set it to 50% after you get healed or some shit I would take it that the defense because they, they don't really put any numbers yet we don't know yet right I would think it her defense is probably either gonna be 100 or 300 percent or something. Right at 50 percent. Something tells me that's the case. The defense is gonna be super high. The attack probably like 50 percent or something. Unique mod or some shit. CA specs maybe you get like 10 to 20 percent uh, Ogi cap or whatever. And skill cap probably 20 30 percent or something. Yeah. If I were to make a wild guess, they're probably gonna do that. Doesn't look like you're really gonna be able to... I mean, dude, 50% is not easy to, to like, stay there all the time. <laughs> like, just right there. Because you're gonna either get damaged, you're gonna get healed a lot, right? It's very hard to keep that in the middle. You know, it's like, it's like the same as the raid as well, right? The Cosmos raid, you want it to be like, around the middle most of the time can go far too far to the left or the right if not you're just screwed uh let me see her emp okay so she has two she has two light attack up one skill cap one ca cap one ogi damage one crit i, I guess you just max out this for you can get this crit as well the rest you just put in whatever she has a lot of hp right yeah 1400 is actually quite a lot i don't think you really really need to add attack just because that uh she already has a lot of attack from her passive and shit, so you can just ignore that. And plus you get extra crit, and plus if you're really playing light, you're most likely gonna play crit anyway. And she can crit basically every element too, if you think about it. <laughs> so definitely having the crit might actually be helpful. So you probably want that. Um, you If you want that, I probably... Most likely having skill cap might actually be better. Because at least her, her auto nuke on Ogi and... Uh, Normal attacks can be scaled as well if you have skill cap. Yeah, might be helpful. And then, uh, I don't know if you really want to get supplemental. Probably you can get stamina instead. Because, uh, I mean, if you're planning to use her in other elements, which is really possible, <laughs> you could also uh, put like, I don't know, stamina or some shit, right? You could put all that and it actually increases the damage in some way, right? <laughs> so that's pretty nice. But I don't know, you could... I feel like most of the time you're probably going to use her in light anyway. Just because her main element is actually light and then you're able to scale with uh, light very easily anyway. It's not like uh, How do I say this? Like... I don't think the game really sh allows you to like... If you put like say... Uh, wind attack up or whatever, right? It doesn't really scale with like the actual character or some shit. <laughs> I'm not sure how that really really works, but like, it's kind of weird. Like the way that the, the the you know the game system tends to to do this kind of shit. But like, 
you want to put in a lot of uh how do i say this you want to put in a lot of the uh the uh you know the the, the pianish the the voltage shit <laughs> Or yeah, you you know that kind of shit, right? The 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 voltage stuff, or like the um, you know, like a uh, lot of flames, those galleon sticks, Ramdus X, those weapons, right? You know those kind of stuff. You want to add in those kind of shit so you can actually apply to her as well, rather than using the actual the uh, weapons that has the uh, the the el the set element itself. So like yeah, even like Siete sword, right? Actually work well with her as well, but. You could also use like the other ones like I mentioned. So you could technically if you're using other elements, right? And you want her to work as well. You probably want to put those stuff like heavily reliant on that kind of grid to actually make her work. So she's very whale. <laughs> Basically a whale character. Because <laughs> I don't think a lot of people can really do that. <laughs> Especially on like all elements. <laughs> Alright, without further ado, let's, let's see this trashy weapon. Remember what I just said about Ogi earlier? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is shit. <laughs> This is fucking shit! <laughs> it only boosts to light allies. If you guys want to compare with CAT Sword, at least CAT Sword doesn't have a fucking light, okay? That <laughs> it doesn't re restrict to one element. This is straight up a light weapon. Nothing else. And I do not know why you want to use this anyway in the current light situation. Do you want to Ogi that badly? If you want to, this weapon is probably your kind of style. Else this weapon is fucking trash. <laughs> It's like, yeah, do you want to Ogi? You you best answer that on your own. You don't have to ask, you don't have to rely me for the answer. Do you like to Ogi? Yeah, if you like, then use the weapon. If you don't like, don't use the weapon. Simple, right? Other than that, uh, yeah, she's she's uh, she's pretty strong. Really strong. Does a lot of damage. She does uh, well on her own because she's grand and she can do uh, a lot of things. A lot of things. The only difference is that uh, if you want to get the second cast onwards for this one, you probably want to get some uh, a lot of buffs or some shit. Which, honestly, I don't think that's a problem at all. <laughs> I don't think you really want to, like, I must get the second cast onwards. Now, nah, fuck that, man. Who cares? It's like, yeah, it's like if the raid goes on longer, basically, it just means that she can do a lot more damage. Because what the third skill basically means is that she'll eventually be like what Grand Potato is, right? Because Grand, uh, Grand Charlotta actually does that. So yeah, it's kind of like her, her third skill... If you press it the second time, it works exactly like how uh, Grand Charlotta's uh, skill actually works, right? Her, she can literally allow her to press her nuking skills, which is Zoe's... Uh, Zoe... <laughs> I mean Cosmos... <laughs> Cosmos skill 1 and 2, which allows, you to, allows her to press that twice in each turn whenever the thing comes up, right? So whenever the thing goes off cooldown, she can press that twice. And this is like what seven turns, right? So it's actually not that long either. It's just that, uh, yeah, you can just one extra time this turn. So you know, I'm I'm pretty certain it only applies to like the actual cast, <laughs> not the uh, not the, uh, the 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 actual auto activate uh, activation, right? Wait, does it activate again? I would think this only applies when you click on the damn thing, right? Because it sounds really fucking broken, right? This should all this this line, right? This this can damage each the extra turn in this uh, extra this turn only applies when you manually press it, right? Not the auto activation, right? Yeah, it should be only right. Okay, because <laughs> if, if if it's an auto activation as well, it's fucking stupid already. <laughs> But yeah, it, sh it should work exactly like potatoes because that's how potatoes work, right? The the, the grand potatoes ver the, the thing because it's exactly the same, right? It works like, it should work like that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think you should really rely on that. Like like I said, this sounds good, but like just having her being able to get the shit up like uh just to get the the the, third, the first third skill up basically. This this thing. Don't you just need to get this 
like out of the way the first one that's the only thing you need and then you just let just let her rip because she immediately just does whatever right it's just it, it's, that's basically how her character works it doesn't really matter what you're planning to use her for in whatever element whatever grid you're using right the only thing you need is to get this up asap this thing radius in five turns but you probably want to get this up at least within like two or three turns or something because you don't really want to get this like up too late you know because if not it just it kind of defeats the purpose right you kind of want just have this up because her main powers power spike in the battle itself is that skill if you do not have this she doesn't do anything because she also relies on having the 50 percent thing which this basically does it for her because <laughs> it's not like you can just magically oh hey um i'm just gonna go in the raid this boss will magically hit me one time and i just nicely no matter what grid i'm using i'm always gonna get 50 percent meter you fucking wish man <laughs> you wish that works like that man okay <laughs> You have to rely on a third skill to actually get this kind of shit to work, okay? <laughs> you think the boss is so nicely say, okay, I have 8,083,465 uh, 8, HP. I'm just, this boss is going to hit me in one hit. The first turn immediately deals like 40,000 damage to me. So nicely. Yeah, you wish it that happens, man. <laughs> You know, you know, it's actually funny I say that because there, there probably is some people who actually do that, you know? Like, put it this way, right? Some people may actually just meme it. They purposely go like far or some shit because they deal like guaranteed 30,000 damage or whatever. So they purposely try to angle their HP just enough. <laughs> so put her like say 60,000 HP and then damn, I got right in there, baby. <laughs> Oh man, Cosmos, immediately activate, man. Let's go, dude. <laughs> I don't know, probably people will do that. We'll see, I guess. But uh, there's not much else for me to say about the character anyway. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys whenever I decided to put out a new video, which is probably never. Alright, see you. Bye-bye.